Hello. I have stuff. So, my cannon commander is old as shit. Well, that's about three years old, but the radiator, uh, he gets the shit kicked out of it three years, gets pretty tired. And uh, I'll show you later, but the placement of that radiator is directly in uh, behind the grill, which is, you know, where you want to keep it for airflow. Uh, however, if you do nothing but do dumb shit in Florida and just drive through swamp, it gets constantly clogged with uh, mud. And uh, when you wash it, it gets tired. And if you take it out, you take it in and out and then bash the shit out of it a whole bunch of times, it gets tired. So recently I just took a trip with my kids and we constantly had to uh, clean the radiator every time we went into the mud. So it kind of took a lot of the longer trips, made them short. Uh, so what I did was, is I got the wild boar uh, radiator relocation kit, came with all this shit. So it just has this, I'm assuming that's where the radiator gets mounted to. Came with these two little side pockets, my uh, mounter dealy thingies, came with this hose, uh, put this dish shit, and then a little hose. And then I went on the Amazons and I bought some super cheap China uh, radiator uh, for like 150 bucks because... Uh, Raiders got expensive as shit. Like, you used to be able to find them for like 50, 60 bucks. Uh, uh, camp now, because uh, we're building back better. Um, yeah. So this is the patient. You've seen it if you watched any of the videos, but so you notice I cut that shit out out of the top hood there because it lets extra heat out. That way the heat, it used to have vents and it went from the side here and that heat would just travel right back into there if you can see back there or not but it would come out like right here-ish uh, it'd be real hot so I took those out and then took that out and then so the heat can escape up and not directly into my face but so the radiator is back here you can kind of see it that's not even dirty that's clean it's just tired from uh, getting the shit kicked out of it for about three years. So you can see all the fins there, they're all bent and tired and gross and they don't like life. Well, they don't do well with the heat neither. So hence, we're gonna try and get rid of it. Another thing I thought about doing was just changing out, they have like a mud radiator that you can get. So the mud goes through easier, you cleans out easier, all that stuff, shit's $700. Yeah, I didn't buy that shit. Not even a little bit. Fuck that noise. However, it's probably really cool. Whenever I get rich, whenever that happens, I'll get that and I'll put it in my relocation kit. All right, so I just loosened up that little hose clamp. See it right there. Made it as shaky as possible. So what you want to do before you take this off is you want to run your machine whew, about 30 minutes. Get it nice and hot. That way when you take the fluid out and dump it on yourself, it burns like a motherfucker. Oh, fuck. There we go. Better. Got this. I've got this out. So now apparently I need to put this on, but I have to put these brackets in the frame. I'm not really sure how to do that. I think I'm going to go there, maybe. I don't know. It's confusing. So my investigative experience, because I'm a, uh, a detective of uh, not a fucking thing. So it looks like I think I need to hook up to that deal. And then this one right there. So this shit's going to be something like this. But apparently I got to get it above this. That way I can attach it to those brackets that I need to get to. That way I could drill through this to attach it from the top. The problem I'm running into is I gotta get it above this and over there. And the instructions are nothing but the best. If I figure out how to, to throw the instructions in there on the the YouTubes, well not the YouTubes. Well that's what the video will be on, but on the video editing stuff, which I'm pretty much professional at as well with my like three videos. Uh, I'll try and figure out how to do it. So you can see the picture. The picture is just here. It doesn't have an explanation of how they got it above all this other shit. 
but I'm kind of dumb, so I'm hoping I can figure it out. All right, so what I've done here is there's this bracket. It's got two bolts. I've just disconnected that shit and moved it out of the way. That way I can get this dealer up in there. So I'm gonna disconnect that bolt, the bolt over there. God damn it, there we go right there. And then tighten this bracket in, and then I'll put this bracket back on. And then I'll do the same to the other side. Did it just start? It just fucking started, all right. So you can see we got that on. So what we did is we put that shit on both sides like we said we was gonna, you can't see shit. Okay, hold on. There we go. We got this shit right there. We bonded it up there and then down there. And then you had the drill holes up through that, through your plastic. Then we found the hole and then you put the four bolts down to get it. All right, so today's Sunday. When I was started working on this thing, it was Friday, and then I had friends come over, and it turned into um, me drinking a bunch and not really doing any videos, but we did work on it, and uh, we found out some things. I think I said earlier that the instructions really suck, and that's true. Uh, I'll show you some of the things that they didn't uh, go into. I think I pretty much have it finished up. It's kind of ugly, so I think I'm going to make some uh, brackets to kind of cover up some of these hoses. Uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. And also, like, do something a little bit different with my uh, wiring. Because the, the, the power and the relay for the fan, it doesn't say what to do with them in the instructions. I think they assume you'll figure that shit out yourself. And I did. I just want to figure out something a little bit different uh, than what I got going on. But I'll show you what it is. All right. So first thing, these did not come with the set because they didn't send any that fit. So in this... You gotta have that spacer in there. That way, your radiator and your and your uh, the, the actual whatever the fuck that's called is separated. That way, you get it's easy to clean. I would assume, but either way. So and then so I went and got some different bolts for it. It's whatever. It wasn't a lot of money, but still. And then they sent uh, some some carrier bolts like these. You can see where. Oh, you can't see it's oh there they are right there um, that long so i tried to reuse them but they were too big so they didn't fit through the actual hole and i didn't want to cut anything so i just went and bought some bolts um another thing as you can see here how i have like uh so that is this right here is for the fan i think that's the power tells it go on and off. I'm not really sure where to run that. Another thing they did is they just, uh, they sent some vent line, told us to disregard the vent line. Uh, I'm gonna refix it. But what I did is I just went and bought uh, a vent line. Uh, I'm not sure what that shit is called, but it's two male ends. So I just stuck each male end. That way it'll go through that hose and then into my <clears throat> tank, the tank. The overflow tank there, uh, I'm probably going to shorten the hose up here in a few minutes. I just want to make sure that shit works before I do too much to it. Um, and then this right here, this is it's ugly. But uh, I don't know. I'm going to try and figure something out to make it not so ugly. We'll see how that shit goes. So you can kind of see what they give you here. So they give you... So this is where... You got a bracket so you got uh so this is stock and you got that and that goes from there that shoots straight up to there to here this t right here is uh is stock so they utilize your stock t to go into the radiator you got your cap and then this 90 comes with this and you can see the different hose so this is old hose this is that new shit so same thing here i've got a new piece here, a 90, goes down. Come on, fucking thing. There you go. So this is your stock shit. So this is where your radiator would be. So they give you enough to go straight up. You go up into there. So I'm probably going to 
do something where I try and, I don't know, secure it a little bit more gooder. I don't know. It might be okay. I mean, because this one sits here and just smashed the shit out of all of that uh, for the whole time. I've had it for three years and it hasn't died yet. Maybe I'll put a zip tie like right here just to kind of hold it in place. Um, other than that, the install is easy. The instructions are pretty bad. And then this doesn't have, like, you can see my drunk cutting. This is what happens when people come over and you you don't do that right. But uh, I think I used a, I believe it's an inch and a quarter inch hole for this. But my sloppy cutting is why there's a gap. Because you can see it's, it's better on this one. It's just different. Same bit, just different drunkenness on this side. Although you can see I still scrape that up. So I think I'm going to put something down like a black piece and rivet it in or, or screw it in that surrounds it, makes it a little bit more cleaner. It'll look a little bit better than just that. I don't know if this is going to be how I want it to look either. Like I might figure something out, do a little bit, something a little bit different. But I'm just trying to get it to work right now. That way I can use this thing. And then plus my hood still goes on. But I just got to get my hood on through there. I think I'm going to go ahead and burp the radiator and then uh, make sure it runs before I do anything else. So this will be the second time because the last time I did it, I did it on the stabilizing video or uh, time lapse. There you go. So I think I've burped everything. You can see here, I'm going to have to figure out something to do with this. So the T is just there and it just hangs and flops. So I got that shit zip tied on there right now. Uh, it should be better when there's not that sitting on top of it. But still, I want to figure out something to make it more secure. Um, nothing's leaking except for the cap. The cap right there is leaking a bit, but that's fine. Nothing else, I don't think when I mess with it. That's not leaking. My junction right there is fine that they gave me. This one right here is fine. Doesn't look like my cheap fucking China radiator is leaking anywhere. And then this last one is fine. It's running really cool. The fan hasn't come on. I don't have any temperature warnings. None of that nonsense. Just look. Oh, there the fan goes. That's good. That took it a minute. Happened. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Let's see if anything happens here. So this bitch has been running for like 10 minutes. That's the first time the fan came on. Let's see if anything happens with the fluid. Fan's off. That shit is working. It didn't try and kill itself. All right, it tell let's get back to it. Oh, there it is. That junk is all closed up, but I could still like it. Just ugh, just don't like all that. I'm gonna figure something out. Maybe make like another shroud type of deal. I gotta wipe all that shit off. But either way, another thing I'm getting ready to mess with. So you can see over there. You can't see it. Oh, well, you could see it, but I want to get close up. So right here. So this is my vent hose for my transmission. And then, uh, so I had the hose there. And then this one is the one, so it comes up here, right here for my rear diff. And I've gotten water in it a few times, so I'm going to extend it. So I bought these dealers, and then I shall extend it. We'll see how it goes.
We just drove this damn thing around the yard. Fan came on, didn't overheat. It shit shut off, everything works. It looks decent, doesn't look too dookie. Don't mind how dirty it is, we still gotta clean it. But uh, from a last trip where we took kids out, ah, someone was asking about, uh, cause on these trailing arms, you're supposed to replace your, uh, your, uh, your axles there. I didn't, and we rode it kind of hard. Uh, it didn't die, but I mean, I mean, that's definitely where it'll break is right there. And I didn't even put the, the dealers on the guards because they're plastic. They'll just smash up into them anyhow. But uh, yeah, yeah, they survived at least one trip of us, uh, like easy riding. It was just me with the kids, so I didn't do anything crazy. And uh, I just had to yell at my kid for going too fast. But otherwise, that's, that's how it looks. It doesn't look too wild. Doesn't look too crazy. Except for that, like, I'm, I really want to figure out a way to make that not look just like that. Bam! Make it like that! Ah! And then, uh, but, yeah. But either way, it looks good. Except for, you know, missing some parts. Just, I think it was just two bolts. That's pretty much it. And then, uh, not really sure what I would do about the, the fan. Thanks, bud. The fan, uh, like stuff. I guess you could route it however you wanted to route it. But I have it. I cut this before because uh, heat would escape through that to begin with. Maybe you could just run it, run it through like where I put the the vent, the vent hose, just through there. Mm. But either way, it don't look too shitty. Um, fuck yeah, go team.